In today's video, we are going to learn some functions of Microsoft Excel that are very simple and very easy to use, but these functions are very important and are commonly used in office work. The functions that we are going to learn in today's tutorial are the left function, right function, mid function, find function and concatenate function. We will be learning all these functions with the help of a practical example. So let's begin our tutorial. This is the data exported from an accounting system that has detailed information of invoices overdue. This data contains invoice date, invoice number, customer name and address, contact number of customer and at the end first and last name of sales representative. So from this data that is exported from accounting system, we need to extract some specific information. So the first thing that we need to extract here is invoice month. You can see in this column B, we have invoice date, but here we have along with month, we have date and year. So from these cells or from this column, we need to extract only the month name in this column. So to extract month name, we will use here left function. To use left function, obviously we will enter equal sign. We will use here left function and then open parenthesis. Why we are using left function here? Actually left function extract characters from the left side of a cell. In this cell we have date and in this date we have month on the left side. So we will be extracting this month from the left side with help of left function. So we have been used here left function then open parenthesis. Next thing that we need to provide this next uh, left function is the text from which we want to extract something. Obviously we have this cell from which we need to extract month. We will select this cell and then next is comma. We will insert comma and then next we need to provide here number of characters. So from this cell from left side, how many characters we want to extract? You can see the month is on left side with three characters. For example, for this cell, we have here fab that has three characters F E B. So we will simply enter here three characters. We need close parenthesis and we will press enter and you can see we have here month. We have been extracted month from this cell with help of left function. So you can drag it down or you can just simply click two times and it will fill your column with months. So the first requirement is completed. We have been extracted invoice month with help of left function. Now second requirement is invoice year. We need to bring here invoice year. So to bring here invoice year, we will use right function. Obviously we will insert equal sign and then for right function we will simply put here right open parenthesis so now what we need to do we need to extract here and in right function the first thing that we need to select is text or the cell from which we want to extract something you can see in this cell we have date so what we will do we will extract from the right side this year that is 2015 with help of right function in right function, we will select the cell in which we have date from which we want to extract something then comma, then next thing same as we had in left function number of characters. So from this cell, you can see year is on the right side and year has four characters. For this 2015, we have 2015 that is four characters. So we will insert here four close parenthesis enter. And now we have been extracted this year with the help of right function. So again, we will just drag it down or you can simply click two times and it will fill your column with years. So we have been used left function, right function, and we have been extracted this information. The next information that we need to extract is the customer name. You can see in column D, we have customer name along with the address. We don't need address, we need to extract only the customer name from these cells. How we can extract customer name? To extract customer name from these cells, we will get help of find function. 
what find function actually do find function actually find position of some specific character for example you can see here we have customer name then we have comma after comma we have address so we will try to find position of this comma with help of find function find function just start counting from left side and it will give us exact position of comma from the left side for example if we use here find function i have inserted here find open parenthesis that as we said we will try to find position of comma so we will put here comma between quotation marks quotation mark then comma again quotation mark that's mean we want to find this comma that is between quotation mark then next comma that is part of this formula or function then within the text we want to find this comma within which text obviously this text we want to find position of comma in this cell close parenthesis enter and this is 20 second that's mean a comma is on 20 second position in this cell so if we drag it down you will see comma is on different positions in these cells for example comma is on eight position in the cell after walmart then comma is available so what we will do we will use left function along with find function so what we will do we will use left function that we used here already then open parenthesis then text we want to extract some text from this cell then again comma in left function we want to provide here number of characters as we know comma is on 22nd uh, position so what we will do we will just put here position of comma because you know find function will provide us position of comma and we want to extract all the characters before comma so what we will do find function that will give us position of comma minus one and close parenthesis press enter and now you can see we have here customer name if we drag it down you can see we have here customer name what we did we used here left function to extract customer name from this cell then in place of number of characters we simply used find function find function will give us position of comma and as we want to extract all the characters before this comma so we will simply put find function minus one and then we will have here customer name the next information that we need to extract is area code you can see here we have contact number of customer in this contact number we have country code and then area code for example for this cell we have area code 312 you can see area code is not on left side it is not even on right side that's mean we cannot use left or right function to extract this area code because it is in the middle so to extract anything that is in the middle we can use mid function how we can use mid function to extract this area code that is in the middle let's see we will put equal sign then we will put mid that is mid function open parenthesis we need to provide here text same as we did in left and right function we need to select the cell from which we want to extract anything from the middle so we have been selected this cell in which we have area code that we need to extract we will put here comma then start number we need to provide this mid function the start number from where it will start extracting we will just count from the left side open parenthesis plus one close parenthesis and space these are five characters on the left side so that means this area code is starting from the sixth position so we will just provide start number we ask this mid function that you start extracting from sixth number because our area code is starting from the sixth number you can see open parenthesis is on first number first position then plus second one on third number then close parenthesis is on fourth and space is on fifth and three that is start of our area code is on sixth position so we have been given six start number six then comma then number of characters as we know our area code has three characters so we will simply insert here three close parenthesis enter and here we go 
you can see we have here area code now we will simply click here two times and we have area code in all these cells the next information that we need to extract from this data is sales representative name here we have first name and last name of sales representative that's mean we need to combine first name and last name and we need to bring here to combine data from multiple cells we can use concatenate function so let's see how we can use concatenate function to combine first name and last name and bring here the full name of sales representative. So equal sign we will put here concatenate function. Open parenthesis. Then we need to select here. This is first name. We need to select then comma then second name. So as we need to combine only these cells first name and last name. So close parenthesis enter. So here we have full name of sales representative, but you can see we cannot define what is first name and last name. You can see all this text is combined. We don't have space. So to insert space, we will again go back to our concatenate function and between this first name that is selected cell and last name, we can simply put here quotation mark space, quotation mark and comma the space that we put between this quotation mark this will put space between first name and last name so we can simply drag it down or we can simply click two times and it will fill the full column with a sales representative name so friends as you can see we have been extracted this required information from this data with the help of left right mid find and concatenate function I hope you find this tutorial informative and useful. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to give thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials and don't forget to press bell icon button. Also share this knowledge with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.